Okay, welcome to biopsychology. Approaches is all done and dusted, and we are now on to section B with question number four. Okay, and that is explain the process of synaptic transmission for four marks. So, straight off the bat, this question is going to be full of keywords. Okay, it's really important to use those keywords because the keywords will direct you and give you a little bit of structure in terms of what it is that you're supposed to be writing. Okay, I've made a few notes at the side here. So first off, if you want to access all four marks, you must detail the beginning, the middle and the end of the process. Okay, that is specified in the mark scheme. You won't get the full marks if you don't talk about all three parts okay i've done a little diagram as well that's more for me to kind of remember the things to talk about however it does also say in the mark scheme that you can credit a drawing okay so if you draw something like this in your exam you are likely to get marks for it i'm not going to guarantee that you'll get the full four marks there will probably need to be a little bit of description that goes with it but if you draw that you are at least guaranteed a couple okay if you want to draw it like i said make sure you describe what you've drawn as well just to ensure that you get the full marks available okay so let's jump in and let's have a look at the answer so i said before that it was a keywords game so these are your keywords you have an electrical impulse that arrives at the presynaptic neuron, okay? When it gets to the presynaptic neuron, it's gonna get converted into neurotransmitters, and those neurotransmitters are in vesicles, and they get released from the vesicles into the synapse. Once they are in the synapse, they diffuse, across the synapse and bind to the receptor sites on the postsynaptic neuron. Okay, that then results in the excitation or inhibition of the neighboring neuron. Okay, and then just to finish off that whole process, the neurotransmitters are broken down and reabsorbed via reuptake channels. Okay, so arguably I've got five pieces of information for a four marker. Um, according to the mark scheme, that final little bit in yellow you don't need um, in order to get the full four marks, but I don't think it's an unrealistic bit of information to add for the four marker, okay, which is why I've put it in. I think that's very achievable in the time that you have. Okay, so there is question number four explaining the process of synaptic transmission. I hope that's all made sense. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in question five.